In this video, we're going to be combining the most accurate speech-to-text model with the latest large language model, Llama 3, to build this. Hi, my name is Smitha. Nice to meet you, Smitha. I'm Llama 3. What's on your mind today? To build this project, we have three main components. First off is real-time speech-to-text with assembly AI. Then we'll be passing it to Olama to make use of Llama 3 and we'll be passing the output from Llama 3 into 11 labs to generate speech from text. Assembly AI is a speech-to-text service which recently just launched their Universal One model, which is the state-of-the-art multilingual speech-to-text model. On top of that, Assembly AI also has a streaming speech-to-text service, which converts live audio into text with high accuracy and low latency. High accuracy and low latency is really important when we're building an AI voice bot like this, which makes use of a large language model and also another text-to-speech service. The most important thing about a building a service like this is understanding when we should be passing our transcript of what I'm saying to the large language model. So the good thing with Assembly AI's API is it lets you know when you complete a sentence with something called a real-time final transcript. It sends you both a partial transcript as well as a real-time final transcript. This final transcript contains the full sentence of what you said, and that's when you know that it's time to pass that transcript to the large language model. For our large language model, we're making use of Olama, which is a tool for running open source large language models locally. And inside of Olama, there's a bunch of different models that you can check out, but we will be making use of Meta's latest model, Llama 3, uh, particularly the 8B model. And finally, for text-to-speech, we'll be making use of 11labs, which is a text-to-speech API. First off, I'm activating my Python environment, which I've created. And inside of this, I'm going to be downloading these Python libraries, which we require. So first off, Olama. And next, we also want to install port audio. As well as assembly AI. And then we also want to install 11 labs. Once you've installed all of those Python libraries, we also want to download Olama so that we can make use of Llama 3. And you want to do, go on to Olama's website and actually download it locally. Once that's done, let's start writing our code. Let's start off by importing our libraries. Next, I'm creating a AI assistant class where we'll write majority of our code. I'm going to start off with initializing it. And in here, we are going to initialize our API keys for both assembly AI and 11 labs. To get a free assembly AI API key, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box below. Now that we've defined our API keys, we also want to create an empty transcriber object. 
Next, I'm defining a transcript object, which will contain the full transcript of whatever is being said in the conversation, including the initial prompt that we'll be passing through the large language model, followed by whatever you say and the responses of the large language model as well. So we'll call this object full transcript. And for now, we will just include the initial prompt. Now it's time to write the code for real-time speech-to-text with Assembly AI. All you have to do is go on to Assembly AI's documentation, which I'll be leaving in the description box below, which contains the entire code example on how we can do real-time speech-to-text with Assembly AI's API. And once you're there, just click copy on this code example, and let's go back into Visual Studio and paste this. We want to remove these two lines since we've already done that. And let's also just make sure it's properly indented. For this onOpen function, what we want to do is comment out this print statement and just write return instead. A lot of these print statements might clutter our console when we're running, so that's why I'm commenting it out. And the same thing with on error and on close as well. Just write a return statement instead. The main thing is our on data function. So on data function actually determines what we want to do with our real time transcript. And it's especially important that we define what we want to do right here when we receive our real time final transcript. The real time final transcript is simply a transcript of a completed sentence. The first thing we want to do is print out that transcript and we want to send it to a function called generate AI response. This function is something that we have not created yet, but we will be doing that shortly. After that, we want to define a function called start transcription. What we want to do is put this code inside of this function. So this is the main function which will create our real-time transcriber object which will connect to Assembly AI's API and which will stream your real-time audio as you're speaking to Assembly AI. Next, let's actually create a function called close transcription. So if self dot transcriber, then let's set self dot transcriber to close. And we should also set self.transcriber back to none. Now we're going to create our generate AI response function, which will be passing our real time transcript to Llama 3. And then we also want to do self dot full transcript dot append. At this point, what we're doing is we want to record what you, the user, have said in real time and put that into that full transcript object that we created at the very beginning. 
and the content for this will simply be transcript.text. Next, let's actually print what the user has said. Next, let's call olama.chat. For the model parameter, let's define it and set it as llama3. And in messages, we will be passing our full transcript object. And for stream, let's set it to true. Next, let's print out what is the response of Lama 3. So Olama stream actually contains a stream of response which is coming from olama.chat. And since this is coming in chunks, we want to store it in this text buffer till we get something like a period or a full stop. And we know that, okay, now it's time to pass this sentence into 11 labs for it to actually be turned into speech. So if text buffer ends with a full stop, we'll now be sending it to 11 labs. And also when we're calling 11 labs, we want to generate a stream of audio. This helps to make things faster and also reduce latency when you're building an application like this. For the model for 11 labs, I will be using 11 Turbo V2. And we'll also set stream equals to true. So the reason why we are streaming the 11 labs audio is that instead of it waiting to generate the entire audio and then playing it out, it will actually be streaming it. And this will actually reduce latency. So for the remaining text buffer or text chunks, which might not actually end with a full stop, 
we just want to copy this code again and paste it right here. After that, let's also append our full transcript with what Llama 3 has generated. And let's end it off with restarting our transcription after you have said everything. So now you can continue having that conversation. Lastly, to start off our entire program, let's initialize our class AI Assistant. And we can start transcription. And before we hit run, we just want to do a few last checks. Just make sure that in step two, in all of the functions that you are giving self as a parameter, so even in on open, on data, on error, and on close, make sure that it's all uh, being inputted as self as a parameter. Another thing that you also want to check for is ensuring that the text buffer that we created is set to empty at the end of this if statement right here. Now that that's done, let's click save and go into terminal. Let's activate our virtual environment. And let's hit run. I've just built an AI voice chatbot using assembly AI for speech to text, 11 labs and Llama 3. How do I make it more interesting? Congratulations on building your AI voice chatbot. To make it more interesting, consider the following. One, add humor, integrate a joke or pun library to respond with witty remarks. Two. For more AI speech-to-text content, check out this next video.